looking at one of my favorites today, the 50 trick. 50, of course, we can think of as 50%, and so this trick relies on us being able to take half of the number we're multiplying by. Take a look at something like 50 times 64. Take half of 64, that is 32. There is no remainder, and so add two zeros. 50 times 64 is 3,200. I can hear the objection already. What about numbers that do have a remainder? Take a look at something like 50 times 47. What's half of 47? Well, ignoring the fact that it's odd and is going to have a remainder, half of 47 would be 23. Because it does have a remainder, instead of writing two zeros, we write 5, 0, 50, and there's our answer. 50 times 47 is 2,350. One of the things I love about this trick is how extendable it is. It doesn't only work for 50, although of course that's the closest analogy to 50%. It also works for things like 5. 5 times 28. Take half of 28, that's 14. And in this case, because it's 5, we're going to write one zero down. 5 times 28 is 140. 